We don't go into the World Cup and say they have names. What do you have? If they have but that names? then makes what, uh, Jeffrey Slop point even more damning. Yeah. That if you have a player who is doing well in Premier League, played 19 times or 18 times or 17 times for Crystal Palace under Patrick Vieira, yeah. you really should be calling him into the team. The surprising aspect of this is that the guy had quit the national team, I mean, literally, and said he had been disrespected. I spoke to a very close um, aide of him and narrated how he was badly treated. He felt, I mean, somehow isolated from the camp team when he came to Ghana because he doesn't know a lot of people here. But anytime he comes to Ghana, he doesn't feel right. Mm. So he decided, and the last time he was invited to come, he went to the Heathrow Airport to, I mean, book, get his flights back and they told him that the GFA had not fixed his tickets even though they had invited him. So he had to go back home. So that was the last straw. He decided to quit the national team. They sent coaches to him to try and convince him, speak to the coaches at Crystal Palace to get him back to the national team. Then he decides that he's been convinced. The list is out. I'm not saying that the mere fact that the GFA has sent coaches to speak to him or Tuado had tried with our number to get him is a guarantee that he should be invited. But if you really want the player or if you if you don't need him you don't go to him to convince him and i mean put forth your plan that this is how important you are because of the form you are in then the squad comes out the player is not invited um i mean and sees himself as, as, as better than a lot of the players in the team especially in the position that he plays like i mentioned Otto refused to professionally explain in terms of technicalities why he was dropped, but uh, it's quite surprising. Mm.